this bullet has a mass of 0.46 grams it moved a mass of 205 grams a vertical distance of 2.9 centimeters masses are in kilograms and distance is in meters they're the standard units for these measurements so let's calculate the velocity of this bullet the easiest way is using the equation velocity is move mass large m divided by the bullet's mass which is represented with a small m multiplied by the square root of 2 multiplied by the gravitational field strength multiplied by the height the mass was moved which is 2.9 centimeters we substitute the values for this equation we get the mass that was moved up which is 0 0.20546 kilograms notice that it's the mass of the block plus the mass of the bullet divided by the mass of the bullet times by 2 times by the gravitational field strength of earth 9.81 times by 0.029 meters the height that the um, block and bullet were moved up so when we put all of this into a calculator gives the answer 336 meters per second and there you have the speed the bullet was travelling when it left the barrel of the gun. To understand this equation that we used before which I've moved to the bottom of the screen we know that m g h is the potential energy of this mass m g h being m 0 0.20546 kilograms which is the bullet mass plus the box mass times by G 9.81 times by H the height it was moved up 0.029 meters. When put into a calculator this gives the answer 0.058 joules which is the gravitational potential energy of the block at a height of 0.029 meters. If all the energy was conserved in transfer from the bullet to gravitational potential energy of the block, then gravitational potential energy of the block is equal to the kinetic energy that the bullet had before moving the block. So MGH, which is this, is equal to the energy of the bullet. Kinetic energy is equal to half mv squared, which is 0 0.5 times by mass times by velocity squared. Mass b, the mass of the block plus the mass of the bullet. So from this, getting rid of the e, mgh equals half mv squared. Therefore, we can get rid of m on either side and get gh equals half v squared then we can times both sides by 2 to get 2gh two equals v squared we can get the square root of each side which gives square root 2gh equals v we can take the equation we've just worked out and substitute the values because we know g and we know h and we know 2 is 2 2 times 9.81 gravitational field strength times by 0 0.029 meters high gives a velocity of 0 0.754 meters per second which is the velocity of the mass that was moved by the gun when the gun hit the mass you can see that square root 2gh equals v is the same as what we've got down here but this v is the velocity of the gun's bullet and this v is the velocity of the 
block that the bullet hit. But what we want to calculate is the velocity of the bullet. So from the velocity of the block, what we do to that, which is this, because this is two m square root two mgh, which is that, we can substitute the original equation. We can substitute all this for this, and we end up with we end up with this. So to get the velocity of the bullet from the velocity of the block that the bullet moved, you times the velocity of the block the bullet moved by the mass of the block and the bullet which equals 0.155 you take 0.155 which is this times by this which is this times by this and then all we have to do is divide it by small n which is the mass of the bullet and that gives us v which is this v here and this v here which is 336 meters per second like we got before a different way of calculating velocity of the block moved by the bullet that we did earlier as 0.754 by we did it by all the above the other way is to do this. We know that the kinetic energy of the block is half times m time, times the mass, which is this plus this, times v squared. We can rearrange this to give this energy over a half, 0.5, is mv squared. To use this to calculate v, we do energy over 0.5 energy being mgh which is mgh is this which we've done before which gives the answer of 0.58 joules I read that answer wrong earlier mgh is 0.058 joules energy over a half equals mv squared m being this plus this again which is zero point two zero five four six to simplify this part of the equation no point not five eight divided by no point not five equals no point one one six and the other side of the equation is the same what we have down at the bottom of the screen here can be rearranged to this which gives v squared to be 0.564 square root of 0.564 equals 0.754 as we did earlier the velocity of the block is 0.754 meters per second.